Okay, so what's up and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you all how palettes and cube beats are making crazy dark samples and beats in the style of Kodak Black. So first I'm going to show you all the sample, then I'm going to break it down and show you all how I mix it. And then I'm going to show you all how I made a crazy beat to the sample. So make sure to stay till the end, make sure to follow me on all my socials, the links for that will be in my description. Make sure to comment something that I should do in my next video. And yeah guys, let's go. <laughs> So I started off with using contact and I used this mandolin from Chris Hein Guitars and I laid down this pretty simple pattern. It repeats the whole time with a few switch ups I played with the velocities to make it sound more realistic and this is how the finished pattern is sounding like. And for the effects on this mandolin, I used this Valhalla Vintage Bar, where I tweaked the mix, the decay and the low cut. And I had this EQ just to cut out some of the lows. Then for the next thing, I had this plug from Electra X. And I just played this, I would say it's an arpeggio. And it repeats the whole time and it sounds like this. And for the effects on this plug, I just used this 3D parametric EQ just to get rid of a lot of the lows and a lot of the highs, just to dark it almost fully into the background. Then for the next thing, I had this El Hack bell, which is sounding like this. And I laid down this pattern and put half time on it, played a bit with the velocities just to make it sound more realistic. And the finished pattern is sounding like this. And for the effects on this bell, I just had this halftime on default settings. Then this Valhalla Vintage Verb, where I tweaked the mix and the decay. And then I had this EQ, where I cut out all of the lows and some of the mids, just because I didn't like how the mids and the lows were sounding like. And yeah, that's basically it. Then for the next thing, I had this dark guitar from El Hack again. I pitched it up one whole octave, and this is how the pattern is sounding like. And for the effects on this guitar, I just used this simple EQ where I cut out a lot of the lows and a lot of the highs just to duck it more into the background. Then for the next thing I had another one shot from El Hux's kit, which is the dolphin flute. And I just laid down this pretty simple pattern, I just pitched the E up and down and it sounds like this. And for the effects on the flute, I just had this EQ where I took out some of the lows and I took out some of the frequencies I didn't like. Then I had this reverb where I tweaked the mix and the decay and this soothe just to get rid of all the unwanted frequencies. And for the last pattern, I had this angel bass from El Hack again and I laid down this pretty simple pattern with just the root notes from the mandolin and the pattern I laid down is sounded like this. And for the effects on this bass, I just had the soup just to get rid of all the unwanted frequencies. This EQ just to get rid of some of the muddy lows, and I put it fully in mono. And for the next thing, I just ran at the sample out and put it in Fruity Slicer, where I just reversed every second beat, and I pitched it down by three. And this is how the finished Fruity Slicer pattern is sounding like. <laughs> And after that I ran out the sample out again, pitched it down by 3 again, and this is how the finished sample is sounding like. So now I just open up the FOP for the beat and the first thing I did is laying down this pretty simple height pattern, it's just a few rolls here and there, and I randomized the velocity a bit, and this is how the finished pattern is sounding like. Then for the next thing I had this recycled clap, which I use in almost every beat I make, and this is how the pattern is sounding like. And then for the snare I just had this 2 Pyrex snare from my stash kit, and I laid down a pretty simple pattern, it's just a few rolls, and I just copied it, and this is how the finished pattern is sounding like.
Then for the second last thing, I had the shadow pinet from my stash kit again. And I laid down this pretty simple pattern. It's pretty repetitive and it sounds like this. And then for the last thing, which is the 808s, I just had this simple pattern where I had this roll right here and nothing too crazy to be honest. And this is how the finished beat with the 808 pattern is sounding like. So yeah guys, if you all enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my socials, the links for that will be in my description. And make sure to comment what y'all want to see next. And yeah guys, see y'all.